Holy cow, it's 17 degrees. And we've got to do a mobile diagnostic. Now we're just going to whip a, together a real quick one for you. Hopefully you guys find this one kind of amusing. One of my friend's cars decided to develop a misfire the other night, so I took a quick trip and took a look at it for him. Dead miss on cylinder number three. I'm going to run you through the diagnostic process of what uh, I did to figure out what was going on. Hello and welcome back to Charlie's House Call Auto Repair. Today we're heading over to a friend's vehicle to take a look at a misfire. We've already done a little Swaptronics on it to get an idea what's going on here, but we haven't gone that far into it. So follow along and we'll show you why you don't just go and replace a spark coil whenever you get a misfire. At this point I've only swapped coils. I've done a little Swaptronics. I've determined that the coils are not the problem. We're going to go back today, we're going to run through the process again, and we're going to pull out the spark plugs and see what they look like. Find the Hyundai. Hyundai, where the heck? There you are. All right. Now, the uh, dongle is in the car. The car is parked right next to me. I'm sitting in my nice warm car. Love wireless. Manually, now we're going to do automatic. And I don't understand why they do this. General or US, but this is US, so I'm just going to pick US, click OK. We're going to go for a full health report. All right, now I've got complete. This is a 2017. Hyundai Elantra with the two liter four cylinder multi port fuel injected engine. We're going to look at the fault report. And we have airbag events, occupant classification system. None of that stuff matters. All that we're interested in is what's going on with the ECU. P0303 means cylinder three misfire specifically. Uh, we've already done the Swaptronics with the coil and verified that the coil is not the problem. We moved coil number three over to, to one. The misfire did not move with the coil. So we're going to pull the coil back out on number three and we're going to look at the spark plug on number three. First thing we're going to do over here is get this little beauty cover off. Just grab the corners, pull up on them. Everybody wants to emphasize this. We've got these little rubber bushings underneath here. All these do is snap down on these little round pins. So just keep a little bit of lubricant on them. It'll help. Here's our spark coils. Here's our fuel injectors and fuel rail. We're going to be pulling this one right here out and checking that spark plug. All right. Here for a second. There we go. All right, I'll probably move this one as well. Right there, I got room to get around the coil. And we'll go ahead and remove this screw right here. Down in 
here, get that spark plug out of there. Okay, not too tight. Now always make sure that there isn't any debris down in with the, uh, down in there. I don't know if you guys can see down in there at all. Probably not. And a little bit of debris down in the bottom. Reblown out of there. And go ahead and get that spark plug out. All right. And my little spark plug doesn't have his little. Well, the rubber thing is sort of still in there, but you can always use the coil. Pull your spark plug back out afterwards. So we can get down there on it. Well, there we go. And I'll pull it right out. And the spark plug is looking a little wet and a little fouled. Now let's make sure that the spark plug sparks. So, and go ahead and plug this one back in. And then we'll go ahead and plug this one back in. Some coils have to be grounded in order to work. So we're going to need to keep that in mind just to play it safe. Now we need to find a nice place to get this coil grounded so that we can make sure that this actually works. Hmm. Everything here is plastic. There's metal right there. So I don't like the idea of doing this, but we need... There, that will work right there. Now I'll go ahead and start the engine again. get what we want in the screen here. Yeah, that might work right there. We'll close in a little bit. And get that to right where you can see the tip. Hopefully it starts. Alrighty, so we definitely have a defective spark plug. Spark is jumping outside the plug but not in the plug. So, we're going to be looking for four new iridium spark plugs. And just to make absolutely sure, you know, this element, I don't know if you can really see this or not, that element is severely damaged. The uh, ceramic, brown and all pitted. The gap looks good. The little iridium tip is still in place, but the spark is jumping on the inside of the spark plug rather than the outside. So four new plugs, and this misfire should be fixed. So now we're on our way over to the parts store to go get the spark, spark plugs for the car. Being that uh, the spark was not jumping across the gap of the plug, it was jumping inside the plug someplace. Got a very strong spark, so that's not an issue. So this one's gonna be plain, simple, and easy. So if your car's got a spark or a misfire, um, just do a little bit of Swaptronics. Might be easy. 
Now we got four brand new Denso spark plugs and literally these are the most expensive spark plugs I've ever bought in my life. It's $67 for all four of them. And we're going to drop all four down in here. We're gonna, one of these pops open for you right now. Really skinny little spark plugs. And there's our, our little round tip in the, on the negative electrode. They're pre-gapped, so all we need to do is just drop them down in. We don't need to put anything on them. I like to guide them down into the cylinder as far as I can before letting them go. That way there we don't drop them and knock them out of whack. slow and easy. I asked for Dens or for uh, NGKs but apparently according to the parts store they do not make an NGK for this car. So we got the Denso. Nice looking plugs. And we'll go ahead and torque those down in there. And I got all the spark plugs down in there. We're just gonna snug and then a quarter of a turn. Snug and a quarter of a turn. And we'll do that on all four. And then we'll go ahead and put the coils back down on them. And I cheated, didn't unplug the coils. So we're just going to bring those all back over again. And start dropping them down in their respective holes carefully. Make sure the boots on your spark plugs are clean before you put them down in. You don't want any debris on them. Uh, burr. 17 degrees. And I got dirt all over that one. Alright, I'm going to pull that back out and clean it. And grab all the screws. Drop them down in. by hand. Alright, the wrench. Make sure they're nice and tight. Snug. He's probably only about foot pounds tops. Just snug, no cranking these down, you're going into plastic. And I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. Put the beauty cover back on, sits in place, push down on each corner, and it'll just snap into place. And careful with this HUD release, got to get it right in the middle, and then it comes out. And you pull it up. A little bit of simple diagnostics. 2017 Hyundai Elantra 2 liter, multi-port fuel injected. The uh, misfire has been fixed. It runs smooth now. We're gonna clear the codes, send the customer on his way nice and happy. So if you guys found this one helpful, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And remember, you got no more excuses. Pick up those wrenches.
one of the important lessons that I wanted to get across with this video is if you've got a spark uh, misfire and you're on a code scanner and it comes up P303, number three misfire, do not just go out and automatically buy new coils because that doesn't necessarily mean that's the problem. It could be something else. Do the diagnostics, do the swaptronics, figure out what the problem is and then attack the problem. Don't just go replacing everything. You guys, for you guys that have no idea how to get these connectors off, you got these little gray block tabs on the top. You gotta push down on these. No, let's try this again. Push, pull back on them. And that unclips your plug squeeze the plug gotta get that little locking tab all the way up the wrong one anyways